there has been a bit of talk and a, a few videos about which is the best bike for 2024. And I don't know because I haven't ridden every 2024 bike and I don't think anyone has, especially since not all 2024 bikes are out yet. But I wanted to make a video about my favorite bike for 2024 and that bike doesn't really exist, but it should. Uh, and yeah, here is my take. We recently saw bikes such as the new Propane Econo, which was introduced recently with the Schwamm uh, Eagle Axis motor. And it can also be had with the Shimano EP6 and the Shimano EP801 motors. And all three versions uh, are available with a new 630 watt hours battery. And also, let me bring in the YT decoy. It's been around for a couple of years and uh, since the start it came equipped with a 540 watt hours battery. Another bike that has a 540 watt hours battery, it's been around for a while too, it's the Orbea Rise. So why am I bringing up these bikes out of nowhere? Well, there are some similarities between them. They've all got uh, big motors and I was going to say powerful motors, but uh, sure, these are full fat motors, but uh, Orbea decided to detune the motors on the Orbea Rise. There are other similarities, or rather, let's look at the differences between these bikes first. Sure, there is a big difference in uh, suspension travel. These aren't really the same category. And there is a huge difference in weight. The entry level propane is like 23 and a half kilos. The entry level YT decoy, 24, 25 kilos. But the Orbea Rise, it's much more lightweight. The entry level bike is just below 21 and you don't have to go far up the model ladder before you go sub 20 kilos. So what I'm getting at here is the similarities between these bikes, the battery. All three bikes has got the same battery, uh, or at least the same battery configuration. They use 21700 cells and there are 30 cells in each battery. The Schwamm battery, or yeah, the propane battery, uses newer cells, more energy dense cells. It's uh, a big step up and I find it strange it's not more talk about this, but um, these battery cells could easily be used in the YT decoy and they could easily be used in the Orbea Rise. So my favorite bike for 2024, a relatively cheap bike like the Orbea Rise starting at uh, 5,000 pounds euros approximately with a 630 watt hours battery. I don't think the price hike would be too high because newer battery cells tend to be Sure, they can be difficult to get a hold on, but the production cost usually is lower for the modern batteries. That's one of the main objectives when developing new batteries. So, a 630 watt hours battery in the Orbea Rise, and there is no need to keep the RS software. There is no need to keep detuning the motor with this battery. That can easily be proved by looking at the YT decoy and the propane uh, Econo because they are using these batteries, these battery cells, the same battery configuration with uh, a high power motor. So come on Orbea, you can do it. It's very easy not applying the RS software on your Orbea Rise. It's actually less work not applying it. The 630 watt hours battery, all battery manufacturers should start using these new more en energy dense cells as soon as possible. And the end result is an Orbea Rise full power bike at about 20 kilos in the 5000 euros price range. That would be great. It would blur the lines even more between a full power, full fat EMTB and a lightweight EMTB at a very low weight of 20, perhaps even sub 20 kilos. That would be a very serious contender if I was to buy a bike for 2024. 
and uh, yeah, Orbea, you should call it something like the Orbea Rice KN edition, like named after me. So there you go. You're welcome. That's it. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. Thanks for watching.